morning welcome or welcome back to a new video this week it's been a hot minute since i picked up the camera it's just gonna be like a couple of days at home and we're also going to paris this week so yeah just gonna take you guys along i also have some footage from the last couple of days like the last two weeks that are kind of random and chaotic and unstructured but they're kind of fun so i will play them now and then we will continue on with the rest of the day Okay, we're back. So I got a few new things in my closet that I would like to share. Um, I also did a major, major cleanup again since my last video and I will just like take you through a little bit. I also, or we also, got rid of so much like home decor and home stuff and I will tell you why in a minute because it's quite exciting. I actually don't have any fixed plans today except for in the evening so I think I'm just gonna do another round of decluttering and I would love to go over my wish list with you guys. I just got a package from Asmoduti and one from Mango in the mail and then another shirt from the Frankie shop. And then also my husband's parents went to France for the weekend and they got us this beautiful kitchen towel and then also these little candy little balls. I love them so much. Yeah, I'm gonna try these on at first. This is just a regular tank top from Massimo Dutti. I actually do have a couple of white tank tops but most of them have a little like logo over here and sometimes that is just too much so I just got a basic one and then I got one of these balloon dresses I've actually seen these dresses at Mango right when they came out before they became very popular on social media and then I've also tried them when I saw them in store but they were so new that I didn't really know how to style them and now like I gave it a bit of thought and I've gathered some inspiration so I thought I would give these another try okay this is what the Frankie shop shirt looks like. I really like the sleeves a lot but I expected it to look different in some way. It's quite big even though it's a small, extra small and I know it's the case with all of their products. They're always like very oversized, very baggy and street style but I just feel like this is a lot of fabric and I'm not I'm not so sure how to wear this. I think I will go ahead and try it on with some other things and see how I like it with like another outfit. There is no way you can convince me that this is not the cutest dress you've ever seen. Like I love this so much and in fact it's quite comfortable. If you've seen previous videos of me, you know that I'm challenging myself not to buy from fast fashion as much as I used to before, but I feel like because this is such a trendy piece in a trendy item. I don't really think I'm gonna wear this for a very very long time. I think I will wear it a lot this season and next like next year, next summer season um, and I honestly believe that that's about it. So I don't feel like investing too much in these very very trendy pieces. However, even though it is quite trendy, I can think of like 
10 ways to style this. I think this would also be really really cute with some stockings and some boots and then a black cardigan or a black sweater. Okay, I'm lost for words. I think this is so incredibly cool. I don't really know what to say. I guess I didn't expect to like both of them and I didn't expect them to look this good. I feel like they're worth keeping. The only thing is that the top is a little bit big even though this is an extra small. Um, but we can fix that, but it still looks so so cute. I wouldn't say it's very timeless, but it's still like very minimal, contemporary and it still looks very classy. It reminds me a bit of the dress that Carrie Bradshaw wore in like the introduction of the first seasons of Sex and the City. I do like it, it's quite a good basic. It is a hundred percent cotton and I like that when I wear like a black bralette underneath, it's still shows a little bit but not too much it's not like vulgar in some way it's just cute it also reminds me of carrie bradshaw again as i mentioned before i did a huge declutter again and it's still a piece of work and it's still like a big project going on but i would love to show you where i'm at right now so i was debating either getting some doors or changing up the whole wardrobe entirely but since i knew i was still going to declutter and i didn't really know what system was gonna work and yeah i just didn't really know what to do with the closet itself at that moment and i figured i would just give myself some time and space to figure out like the content of the closet and what is in the closet and then later get back to um, how I want to organize it, how I want it to look, how I want this room to come together. So I still have two parts. This part still has my main clothes. I actually don't have many pieces left. I just hung up like the blouse um, and the two dresses and the tank top over there. But this is all that I kept. I have my favorite shoes of the season here. Then two big bags. We have both my bottoms, my tops, my blazers, my dresses over here. The only thing I don't have here is my long jackets, trench coats, um, fur jackets. I have the only three smaller bags that I kept over here. I have these two boxes from Byredo, but these are empty. I have my Almada dress that I talked about in a previous video and then a knitted skirt um, and that's literally all. Like This is all the clothing that I have. I think there's about 10 to 12 pieces in the laundry right now but that's literally about everything that I have right now. If you've seen my previous closet declutter video, I had two big storage boxes. One had deep winter and summer clothes that was over there. And this one had cocktail dresses because we have occasions to wear them too and I just need more than one. But I was able to go through them again, declutter them. Um, yeah, so now I was able to fit both categories, the things that I kept from both categories, into one storage box. So that's the only one I kept over there. I still have some shoes up here, but I am looking for a pair of nice... Um, black boots and I have three black boots over there so once I found the one that I love that I think is kind of perfect I can get rid of those three um, same with the white heels I'm just looking for one good pair that is good quality and comfortable and cute and classic and timeless and once I have those I can get rid of those too um, but yeah I don't want to get rid of everything obviously because I still want enough options going over here these baskets are all empty um, I have all of my pajamas robes sleeping dresses and um, like my favorite bras like they're actually my only bras um, out here that I will show in a minute these two are empty I have my underwear and socks over here I have my workout clothes in the other one. In this smaller one, I have my sunglasses. This top drawer is actually empty and also this top shelf that opens up um, like this is also empty. I have a couple of my favorite products here that are not in the bathroom. Um, I still have two fashion books up there and then this box actually has my basket bag that I'm selling it is for sale on Vessia right now so that's why it's there. So this whole part is practically empty. This is practically empty um, and even these drawers are practically empty so I think I might like get um, a closet half this size and just have these pieces here 
um, maybe some drawers like at the bottom for the things that I still have in there but outside of that this is practically empty and still have some things that need to be sold over there but this is everything that I have left it is Tuesday today and I put a whole lot of things on Vinted and on Vestiaire for sale um, I think it was Friday and I sold literally 95% of it. It's already like packed up and uh, brought to the post office and this is the only stuff that I still have left. So yeah, pretty happy with it. I know that it is going to be like a journey. I feel like there's going to come a time where I'm going to have more than what I have right now. It's also a bit of a self-discovery journey and I'm not saying I will have this small of a closet forever but for now this is what I want and this is what I like and I don't even want to like restrict myself and say like I only want to have clothes that fit in here because if it makes me happy to have more at a certain point I think I will do that and it's not about size of numbers it's just what makes me happy what gives me a good overview what makes me feel good um, so that is the situation for now. I also have this little magnet board over here um, with some random things that made me happy or just got me inspired the last couple of weeks. But I am going to take all of these off. I'm going to make a like mood board today, um, like mainly fashion and beauty inspiration, just like overall spring vibes within fashion and beauty and just make this like a mood board. I've actually always been using this board as like a mood board and an inspiration board, but I feel like the winter has been way too long and it was kind of awkward we were like in between winter and the upcoming spring season but now i'm very excited to start making a little mood board today i also got this beautiful book in since yesterday it is called fashion photography and it has all of these brands it has like saint laurent it has versace and stuff um I think there is like a table of contents somewhere. Marc Jacobs, Tom Ford, um, Armani. It's a very, very fun book. It's so nice to be inspired by. So I'm just going to start making my mood board. And once it's done, I will walk you through a little bit and also through my wishlist items for both the home and my closet. And then I'm gonna have to start prepare dinner because it's already quite late in the afternoon. It's actually also our wedding party anniversary today. Day. and we have a trip coming up to celebrate that but for tonight I would just love to prepare my husband's favorite food which is a very big piece of steak with some asparagus and potatoes and I think he loved it so yeah I'll get back once I finished the board okay so I made myself a second cup of coffee for the day but I was 10 minutes in and I realized I only have two hours to prepare dinner before my husband will be home so I will do the mood board tomorrow because tomorrow I also have a day without plans. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, you probably heard me talking about wishlists because I always make wishlists for certain seasons or categories before I really buy the items. And also my husband and I, we share this app, it's called Moonsift. And I have my like personal wish lists on there, like my closet and my beauty items. I have like a wish list with home things and things that we want or need or just decorative items. So I can consider them for a while and see if we really need them and if it would fit in the space and if it would fit our lifestyle because of course it's not only supposed to be beautiful but also functional. And what is also fun is that my husband sometimes goes to the wish list to pick out a gift for me if he wants to get a gift but he doesn't really know what to get and that is actually so nice because the things that he buys now as a gift for me are things that I really want and it's not like it's just a selection of five items because I have quite a large wish list but he just like goes over them and he considers some things for example he noticed that I ran out of body cream and that like the old packaging was in the trash and he just ordered one from Byredo that was on my wish list so that's really nice of him but it's also very practical because there is no money being waste or spend on things that I didn't initially want or needed and it's not the case that he like never comes with something original or something that was not on the wish list but it's just that when he does want to for example spend a bit of a larger amount of money that he can get something that I've been really 
one thing and having my eye on so that's really really nice so i made this collage a couple of weeks ago with like the main items that i would love to get for this season like the current season so out of my bigger wish list these are the things that i would love to get for this current season i already did get a couple of things for example that body lotion of by rito and then somewhere in the middle you'll see this ear cuff that i also already got you will also see a silver tennis bracelet which i also got that long knitted almada dress i already got and then some things that i still really really want it's a black or a white one from those the row 90 bags i think they're so chic but also very understated i'm trying to switch to silver jewelry because for some reason i'm a little bit fed up with the gold and also with the upcoming trend of those very big statement earrings and necklaces which are usually gold after, after a while it just starts to look a bit like cheap and tacky especially in the fast fashion brands like hop on the train even though i really like like the big contemporary jewelry pieces it just looks a bit tacky sometimes and for some reason i'm just like fed up with the gold for now I'm not saying that it's forever and then all the way on top you'll see those big statement heart earrings these are from maison alaya and i really like these i've seen them a lot in gold but from other Brands. I don't think I would wear these daily. I think there are specific outfits that I would wear this with. And something else that I really, really want are those Manolo mules. I've been looking at them for so long and I've also seen a lot of reviews on like the comfort level. And then in the top right corner, there is this knitted top with this one shoulder strap. That one is also from Almara label. I don't know what it is with these very minimal contemporary pieces lately, but I've just, I don't know, I just, I just fell in love with that style somehow. I I also still have a really nice collage with some home wishlist items but I think I will go over that tomorrow as well. Good morning. It's the next day already and I still have to get dressed and get ready for the day. And then I'm going to continue my mood board for my closet. I have to catch up on some laundry as well. And what I also want to do is just quickly write down a couple of things that we or that I want to do or see tomorrow in Paris. Because we are there for only one day. We're just going by train. Um, and I'm actually going to meet up with someone that I met through YouTube and... I'm pretty sure she's from Abu Dhabi. So I'm very excited for that. And we're gonna meet up around noon, have a coffee together. And my husband will also just do his thing there. But my husband and I are gonna have breakfast together and before and after the time that the girl and I are gonna meet up, we have that time for ourselves. So I just wanna quickly see what we want to do so we don't really waste time since it's only a day. But I'm so excited. I've been to Paris like a thousand times, but I still, love it so much i still get so 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 excited when i think about going okay we are back in the couch before you think weird things i'm wearing my husband's fleece because i was just feeling a little cold but i refuse to put on the heating in the midst of june also please excuse me if you hear the washer and dryer in the background just things that need to be done but i'm just going to continue on where i left off yesterday so i'm going to go over my home wishlist and then i'm gonna go over my mood board and order a printed version as well hello there this is future me talking to you i was actually just editing this vlog and i realized it got to 40 minutes and i somehow feel like that is a little bit against the unspoken youtube rules so what i'm gonna do is i'm just literally going to cut it and divide it in two and i will tell you what is coming up in the next part so i will continue on with the wish list i will finish the closet wish list and the home wish list i will go over my mood board for the upcoming season and then i'll also share with you how paris went and i will share what i bought there i did a little shopping at hermes and i got a few little things that i'm very happy about i will also be sharing why i got rid of a lot of things 
and solve a lot of things at home and it has to do with the move so it's quite an exciting little like story or journey and then something else very exciting i'm gonna be launching a little brand but i will talk about that more in the next part of the vlog so for now i will leave a link in the description to my ltk shop and everything that's on my wish list or at least like the majority of the things are on there so so if you liked something specifically the links will be down below thank you so much for watching and for tuning in with me today and then i'll see you in my next one